Thank you to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. There I was, chilling, playing Fortnite, when boom, my phone goes off. A DM. From who? Two-time MVP, NBA champion, hard name to spell, Giannis Antetokounmpo messages me with a challenge. He says that if I can get just a single win in Fortnite by the end of the day, he'd send me to a Milwaukee Bucks game. Too easy. But just one thing. My character looks like Poot. Giannis, can you send me some V-Bucks, please, so I can get a new skin? Even better, says Giannis, very Greek freakily. I'll let you play as me. Epic Games and Giannis send a package to my door, and not only does it have both of his brand new skins that just released in the item shop, but they sent me a sick shield, his jersey, and his brand new shoes. Oh, Giannis, you treat me far too well. So, after entering the code in for the wrong account and having to buy Giannis a skin anyway, I call in some friends to make the dub even easier. Enter CJ to champ and Philly on Mars. And enter my immediate regret. He's right there! He's right there! I can't see! I can't hear! No! The first game looked like it was going to be a good one. Some early kills and good weapons almost certainly spelled victory. And after this crispy bow and arrow headshot... Where you go? Oh, he's right here! Where, where, where? Oh! <laughs> I was all but certain I'd meet Mr. Big Deer himself. But then I got hit by a truck like a Zion Williamson screen. Oh, this went on my head, though! And my friends got knocked. And then I hid, and then I died. No! I can't hear, bro! I can't hear! The second game was a warm-up, and we all know that those don't count, so who even cares? Ah, oh, oh, Deadpool! Mr. Beast! Just let me kill Mr. Beast, bro! But by the third game, we started to find our rhythm. We destroy everyone in Frenzy Fields, and continue the bloodlust as we move away from the storm. I could almost smell Giannis' sweat as I hug him, telling him about my victory royale. But there's only one winner in Fortnite, and in the heat of battle, everyone becomes a target. And when you're a 6'11 MVP power forward, that target is pretty big. He's right there! He's right there! I can't see! I can't hear! No! But fourth place was good. Only three games in, that meant all but certain that I'd have my win. And after goofing around in game four and trying not to pick up a single only gun, weapons I need, come on now, only weapons I need are my, my left and my right hand. Bow, bow, you get me. I can't. I'm getting chased. Oh, I'm dead. Did he go to sleep? I didn't know he went to sleep off of that hit. Put the yammer out. B! Oh! <laughs> we were back in on game five. And by back on, I mean back on the lobby because we died immediately. Man, they could not miss. This is what started the beginning of the end. We went from good comms and top five finishes to the earliest deaths and some of the worst comms I've ever heard in my life. There was a guy under me. I didn't kill him. But you already know if I see him, I'm going to do him like I'm, uh, you know what I say? Or Gucci Mane be wearing fur because uh, he is expensive. Mm, I just fought it. Mm, I ain't even got nothing else to say. I'm going to say that's some sketch. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. But my chat believed in me, and more importantly, they believed in Giannis. But with time running out, we only had a few games left to make it happen. Game one. After some water shenanigans, things were looking up. And then we got ambushed and absolutely massacred. Game two. We head into Anvil Square with hate in our hearts. We take over the city easily and push to take out our bounty. This would be a fatal mistake, and also my aim is poop. CJ. Oh, oh, oh my god! Whoa! We got dumped on! Game three, back to Frenzy Fields, and it's looking like my game to pop off until. What? 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 Game four. My teammates die immediately. And even though I turn into Invader him, I simply can't do it without a team. How? 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 Fine. Game five. I tried to freestyle with my team for morale. This was the worst decision I made the entire stream. Squad team rocket. The way they but oh y'all fighting, y'all fighting, y'all fighting. Okay, hold on, I gotta, I gotta, uh, 
What? Uh, what? The Heavenly Father? Well, my squad's Team Rocket, literally, because they sold me. Game six, after landing in a remote location, shielding up, and dealing with the most random team of all time. Oh! On me! On me! On me! On me! I'm not, I'm not with you. What on earth? That makes no sense, bro. I bet. I got a DMR now. What the other uh, just doesn't add up? After that smooth team wipe, we finally look in sync. But just like in sync, it only takes one member to destroy the group. They're on me, Billy. Where'd you go, Billy? Behind you. Oh my goodness! There was only time for two more games. Would I fold under pressure? Or would I rise to the occasion like Giannis in the reverse sweep of the Phoenix Suns to secure his first NBA championship? The answer was obvious. We load in and head to Slappy Shores, a guaranteed safe haven, and it's full of good loot. I'm ready. And before we even make it out, more than half the teams were gone. This was our game to lose. Heading to the next circle, a truck pulls up on us, a full team but we have the better loot, the better team, and in my case, the better skin. The driver springs into action, and by action, I mean the fetal position. Slumped. The second, a filthy evil no good bush sitter, takes me out, but not before I take half the health from his body. A two on two with our group fully healed and full of good loot. Surely nothing can go wrong. One tap right here, right here. Okay, Philly goes down like a two-pack king-size bag of uselessness, but sets up the easy kill for CJ. It's an easy 1v2, right? Right? In the bush, in the bush. That's not the one time. Yeah. <sighs> With no more time, we load into the final game. I've lost all trust in my teammates. We have to win. No, I have to win. I resort to the worst type of person in a battle royale. I run away from fights. We head to a random spot on the map and load up on what little loot there was. And against my wishes, CJ literally pushes into a fight. Did you not hear me? Okay, CJ's going. I guess we're going. And although things didn't look good, the enemy team knew I had to win this game. And thankfully, they took themselves out for it. Things looked good for about 10 seconds, but we'd forgotten there were two teams there. What the freak? What happened to me? Was this the end? Did I really let Giannis down? Could I really not win a Fortnite game in 24 hours? Do I really look like Ben Simmons? For now, only one of those things was true. There's three of them, dog. With my newfound strength and rocket power, I'm feeling a little dangerous. So I go for some clips, and uh, you might as well call me Chris Paul because I absolutely flopped. That didn't work. Oh shoot, he died. Thankfully, it was the boys' turn to be honest, and they wiped the team and got me back into the game. Not wanting to risk any more trouble, we decided to take the best position in the circle, which is the same as saying you don't want to get dunked on by going directly underneath the rim. We found trouble immediately, from all sides no less, and were forced to abandon our high ground for a low ground crevice with better cover. But like the Greek freak and the Greek gods, we rose back up to Olympus, taking a fight with another team and subsequently taking their lives and loot as well. CJ, I'm, uh, CJ, I'm not on you no more. Right in front of you, right in front of you. With good health and a full team, we were in great spirits, but we reached the hardest point. Stuck in no man's land, right in between several enemy teams' crossfire. As soon as we come up from our hole, no doubt we'd take more shots than Luka Doncic. But there was no time. With the storm closing in, we charged valiantly 
and in all directions. And it went as stupidly as it sounded. CJ and Philly were slain instantly. And it was down to me and me alone. Like Atlas, like Giannis, the entire world was on my shoulders. A win and I'd be cheering courtside for one of the greatest NBA players to ever grace the planet. A loss and I plummet to the River Styx, joining Hades and Carl Malone's reputation. Carefully, cautiously, I creeped up the mountain until I was sure there were only a few left. And then I made my final stand. God, that gun is not. Wait. Oh, there was, it was like five different teams. What was going on there? No. And I got melted. Just like that, my dreams shattered. Everything became clear. I wouldn't see my idol. I wouldn't lick his sweat and absorb his power. I would never meet the Greek freak. I would never meet Giannis. I had to watch as my friends sent videos of themselves enjoying the game with great seats while I remained at home, defeated. All because I couldn't win one game of Fortnite. Giannis, if you ever see this, and I hope someday you do, please give me another chance. I promise you, just like your redemption run of 2021, I will win that game of Fortnite. And I will, I will meet you.